At least eight people were killed, 14 others injured after a church bus crashed into a tractor trailer and an SUV in Tennessee, shutting down a major interstate for hours. NBC's Janet Shamlin is in Knoxville this morning with more on this. Janet, good morning. Hi, Natalie. This was a horrific accident sparked, authorities believe, by a tire that blew out. Now, in addition to the eight people who died from three separate vehicles, 14 are here at the hospital this morning. Two of them are critical. What should have been a homecoming became an agonizing wait at the Front Street Baptist Church in Statesville, North Carolina. Family and friends waiting for news, whether their loved ones survived the deadly crash near Knoxville. We do appreciate uh, all the prayers that uh, has been given. This is uh, a time of difficulty. The church bus was heading east on Interstate 40 when the left front tire blew. Police say the bus veered across a highway median directly into westbound traffic, hitting an SUV, then slamming into a tractor trailer, which burst into flames. The busy interstate came to a grinding halt and was soon closed in both directions. We'll look at the braking system and make sure that the bus was functioning properly. Um, we'll also look to see if there's any possible, any possible uh, other mechanical failures that could have led to this incident. At least eight people are dead, including six seniors on the bus, returning from a gathering in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Fourteen others were rushed to the University of Tennessee Medical Center. This is a very active investigation and it's going to be ongoing for several days. Our thoughts and our prayers do go out to their families and to those who are injured. Interstate 40, a major thoroughfare, has reopened this morning, but it is still a waiting game for some of the family and friends of people on the bus. They are awaiting official notification on their loved ones. Right. Natalie, back to you. Our thoughts and prayers are with them. Janet Chamley in Knoxville, Tennessee, thanks so much.